Hey guys, Lane from Mountain Man Outdoors. Today we're talking about side scan. Pokey's tackle hooked me up with a Helix 15. Incredible. Fishing some shallow water today. Having trouble picking up fish under the boat. So here's a couple pointers. Right now, the shore is in shallower. Uh, my left side out deeper, out towards the center of the lake obviously. I'm marking my fish in to the right. I don't have anything under the boat. So that's, that's telling me they're in shallower. I need to readjust now. On top of that, I can sit there, or I can sit here and mark that waypoint. So first of all, I can zoom in, see what I'm looking at is actually a fish, and I can tell it's a fish because of the white return and then the shadow behind it. And what that means is that is actually a fish that is suspended off the bottom and it's casting a sonar shadow. So now that I have it located and identified, I can mark that. So I just created a waypoint that I can go back on my screen and now I can come back and drop right on top of it. So we can literally wheel around and get back on top of that fish and put those side imaging fish right under the boat. Such an underutilized tool. I use it lots in the spring and in the fall, especially when fish are posted up along rocky outcroppings or points or in shallower. Um, there may be the water temps are still cold and they're pushed into shore because trying to find some warmer water. So I'm telling you guys, I know lots of you guys got side imaging sonars. If you're not using it, you really should be. Now that we have found a baseline for our depth, we kind of figured that the fish were in those low teens, uh, or sorry, low 20s to high teens depth. We can start running parallel with our structure and we can look for, say for instance, to run along a point. We can now look up the side of a point and see if these fish are stacking up on top without wind blowing in. And for instance, I can see a fish there, a fish there, a fish there. So I would say it's safe to say this wind is pushing the bait and the fish in. Now, using side scan, it's very critical to have your settings all dialed in correctly. I currently run at about 90 to the left, 90 to the right. And what I'm usually doing is I'm trying to triple my distance left and right of whatever my depth is. So if I'm in 15 feet of water, I would usually have it set at 45, 50 feet. If I'm in 30 feet of water, I would have it set at 90. So that's just for maximum clarity. Um, the new, this new uh, mega imaging is absolutely incredible. We found boats, we found tires. Uh, one of my buddies even found a truck. So it's pretty amazing. You can see, we can actually see in such fine detail, the ridges, everything, all these nooks and crannies the fish can hide and it's almost getting unfair. Like we're making this pretty easy. So we're gonna keep wheeling around until we find the fish the fish we're looking for not just a fish we're looking for a big one today and uh, we'll see if we can uh, we can show you exactly how this all works so one thing side scan does a really good job of is helping you interpret what your bottom structure is you could look at something like this and say hey what are these red lumps are they fish um, but now you have a visual reference point on your side scan. You can actually see these rocky outcroppings. You can verify, no, these are in fact rocks or bottom or structure. It's not a fish. There's no separation behind or between the bottom such as this. So as we cruise along here, we can actually now look through these rock beds and try and pick apart places walleyes or other game fish might be sitting and hanging out. Springtime, uh, especially spring and fall, I should say, walleyes do enjoy hitting, hanging up against the rocks. They're warm, they absorb heat. The water's still pretty cold. We're only 55 degrees today. So these fish are gonna kind of post up anywhere they're, they can find some warm water. With a nice sunny day today, I can definitely see these rocky shorelines warming up quicker. So we're gonna hang in a little tighter here and see if we can't uh, sneak in and try and find some fish. We just readjusted according to our side scan. I don't think it's been but a couple minutes. I already got a bite on the rig. No. 
Yep. Nice one. Real nice one. Man, we were having trouble staying on top of fish and we used our side scan to kind of pin them and caught them off to the side. And uh, man, I don't think it took but a couple minutes and we connected with one of the big ones we could see on the screen. Uh, this thing is absolutely taking me for a ride. I don't know folks, if you're not using your side scan, if you're not using your sonar to its limits, you should be. Um, today is proof. If you want help learning how to use it, talk to the guys at Pokies. Hire me or one of my guys for a day. There's an absolutely giant walleye. Offside scan. That is incredible. Oh my goodness. All right guys, side scan walleyes. Here's a big one, 28 and a half inch. Fat one, straight back in the lake. So important, so important to get these things back in the water as quick as possible. Wow, thanks Pokey's Tackle. That new Helix is absolutely killing. You didn't see anything. 